All right. So for today, for this lecture, pag-usapan naman natin ang work, energy, tsaka power. So mga tatlong bagong quantity ito. So una, work. Pag sinabing work, work refers to work refers to an activity involving a force and the movement in the direction of the force. Commonly, ang ginagamit na formula sa work, sa lalo na sa mga school, work is just F times B. Pero kulang yun kasi ang sabi dito, in the, take note, in the direction of the force. So example, may box ka dyan, tapos may tao, tao yan, na humihila ng box na yan. Okay? So, yari yung box na gumove horizontally, pero yung tali niya nakaslan. Diba? So, kung sinabi natin in the direction lang yung tao, in the direction of the force, dapat in line silang dalawa. So, pag ito theta to, iba sa triangle na yun, pag naka-adjacent yan, bali magiging F cos yung theta yan. So, yun dapat yung gamitin natin, tapos yun yung imumultiply natin sa D. That's why work is equal to FD cosine theta. A very important yung angle na part. Usually, inaalis lang to kasi yung theta naging 0 degrees. E di ba ang cosine 0, 1? So, naging F times D lang. Alright, pagdating ng vector analysis, yung FD cosine theta, ang ibig sabihin niyan ay F dot D. Dot product. At ang dot product ay applicable lang sa mga vectors. Tama naman, di ba? F is a vector force. And D, Dito distance pala. Kasi nakita nyo, vector siya, ibig sabihin, D is displacement. So in other words, work is force times displacement. So, in general ha, kapag ang isang bagay gumalaw at gumalik sa original position niya, displacement becomes zero, therefore, work becomes zero. Pero kapag naging komplikado na yung subject natin, hindi pa laging ganyan yung nangyayari. Okay? Also, ang dot product ay palaging nagre-result sa isang scalar. Sa scalar. Check. Ano ang units ng work? So, ito, newtons. Ito, meters. So, newton, meter, or J. Joules. Okay? Scalar. Work is also the change in kinetic or the negative change in potential energy. So energy naman is the capacity of doing work. And, uh, so we have potential energy, potential P, MGH. So maybe familiar pa naman kayo dyan, na potential energy ay dependent sa height ng isang object. So ang isang object, mas mataas mula sa ground, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung potential energy niya. Kasi yung potential energy somewhat translates to potential uh, potential of an object to fall. So pag mas, mahal, mas mataas yung lugar mo, mas malaki rin yung chance na mahuhulog ka. Na potential energy, MGH. And pag further i-examine natin, PE, MGH. Itong MG, di ba yan yung weight? Tapos itong H, yan yung displacement. E yung weight ay isang force. So in a way, Potential energy is force times displacement. Pangalawa, ang kinetic energy naman ay dependent sa velocity. Ibig sabihin, pag mas mabilis ang isang bagay, mas malaki ang kinetic energy. The energy is also in joules. And energy is also scalar. Power is the rate of doing work or using up energy. Power is work over time. Work is in joules. Time is in seconds. So, power is joules joules per second or watts. Okay? And same, scalar pa rin yan. So, itong tatlong to, lahat sila scalar quantities. Ang eh, mahalaga pa naman sa point na to is maalala niyo yung mga formula nila. And speaking of energy, we have what we call the law of conservation of energy. In an isolated system, Total energy means constant. Energy can neither... Ito yung famous na expression. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. But first of all, ano yung implication? Ano yung meaning ng isang isolated system? Isolated system means kapag meron isang object or isang 
object na sa loob ng isang system. Alright? Dapat walang pumapasok or lumalabas na energy. So, walang energy input, wala nang energy output. Completely yung energy, dapat nagsa-circulate lang doon sa loob ng system. So, anong meaning nun? Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Dapat, ano yung energy mo sa initial, yun din yung energy mo sa final. And for now, ang itatakal natin na energy, itong dalawang ko lang. Marami kasing types ng energy. No? Ang tawag dito ay mechanical energy. So pagdating sa next topics, may electrical energy, uh, electromagnetic energy, and so on. So, considering that, meron tayong PE plus KE initial is equal to PE plus KE final. Alright, so ito yung basic expression natin for the law of conservation of energy. Pero ang tanong, paano pag ganito? Ano yung box? Tapos may tao na tumutulak dyan. Kaya nga ba ng kamay niya? Tinutulak niya. Right. Question. Isolated pa ba ito? Nasa pag-analyze mo, since nag apply na siya dyan ng work, itong box, hindi mo na siya consider as isolated. Kasi may galing na sa labas eh. So, ang solution dyan, is consider natin na yung system natin kasama yung tao. Sa so, pagkasama yung tao, maging isolated na siya. Di ba? Wala nang galing sa labas. So, paano natin ngayon i-represent itong work na in-apply niya? So, yung work na in-apply niya, ilalagay natin dito. Input per. Di ba yung tao, tinulak niya yung bagay, tinulak niya yung object. Input yun. Lahat ng mga nasa left side ay mga input. Lahat ng mga nasa right side ay output. So, ano yung product? Ano yung lumabas? Di ba sa system? So, meron tayong final plus losses. So, losses, ibig sabihin yan, kunwari, yun nga, may kahon, tapos may tao tumutulak dyan. What if magaspang yung sahig? So, may friction. Ba? May losses yun. Okay, so, para ma-practice natin to, try natin mag-solve. A 30 kilogram block is stationary at the top of a 70 meter high hill. It slides down a smooth surface down to a portion of 50 meters above the ground and finally slides down to a blah 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 blah. May drawing natin. Seventy meter high hill, thirty kilogram block, fifty meters above the ground. Kung wala kanya, not prone to ski. I finally slides down horizontal base height ten meters above the ground. Ten meters above the ground. So nandito na yung box. Okay, so para ma check natin kung pwede natin gamitin yung law of conservation of energy. Una, isolated ba ito? Ba? So, meron bang input na work? Input na work. Ang sabi sa problem, it slides down. So, wala naman pinangkit doon na may tumulak doon sa box. So, wala tayong input work. Okay. Pangalawa, may losses pa. Sabi naman, smooth. So, wala kang losses. At dahil doon, pwede natin gamitin yung formula lang. E initial is equal to E final. Bali, PE initial plus KE initial is equal to PE final plus KE final. Right? Bali, MGH initial plus 1 half MV initial square. MGH final plus 1 half MV final square. So, titignan ninyo, pwede natin makancel lahat ng M. Cancel, 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 cancel. So, itong 30 na to, Useless yan. Kahit ano yung mass ng object natin, hindi magbabago yung answer. Okay, pangalawa, ano pa ba yung pwede natin makancel dito? Initial velocity. Kasi sabi daw, stationary. So, magiging zero itong lahat ng ito. Uh, 
Okay? So, simplify muna natin magiging G H initial minus H final. So, dilipat ko na sa kabilang side yan. 1 half V final squared. V final is equal to square root of 2G H initial minus H final. Okay? So, nag-provide ako na alternative formula na pwede nyo gamitin na sa shortcut. Okay, so pag sinabsitute nyo yan V final to Gravity is 9.81 70 minus 10 Okay, so V final Final is 34.3 okay. um, Baka tanongin ninyo kung bakit hindi na natin ginamit ng 50 meters Ang simple explanation lang doon Is kasi nga Wala namang losses yung system natin So ibig sabihin nun Kunwari, mamanuhin mo yan na Maglalo of conservation of energy ka Step by step so, law of conservation of energy Pag nag-move ka from 1 to 2 Ibig sabihin, E1 is equal to E2 ha? Pag nag-move ka from E2 to E3 E2 is equal to E3 So, E1 is equal to E2 Tapos E2 is equal to E3 Hindi pwede naman palang E1 is equal to E3 ha? So, tandaan nyo Kapag kasi Mga law of conservation of energy Ang tinilingan mo lang talaga Yung una at saka yung huli Lahat ng mga nandun sa gitna, mga pampagulo lang yun. Ang malaga lang yung una. Tsaka yung huli. Okay? So, ayun. O, bali, kahit gano'ng marami yung nangyayari dito, kahit magkaroon pa ng loop-da-loop dyan, as long as 10 meters pa rin yung babag sa kanya, safe pa rin yung maging answer din yun. Alright? So, that's for law of conservation of energy and work energy and power.